what says gratitude really better than eating ourselves into a vacant stare <laughs> and laying belly up in a lazy boy? Really, that's... You know what? I hadn't told you happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Some people really look forward to this uh, Thanksgiving. Some people dread it. Not because they have to give thanks, but, but uh, it's just stressful. You know, where do you go and who cooks? And Because uh, when you're a kid, you don't have to think about that stuff. You just wake up in the morning and somebody's cooking for you and you walk around and put olives on all your fingers and <laughs> drink Kool-Aid out of wine glasses and, you know. Then you get older and, and you spend Thanksgiving with your friends, especially when you're first out of the house. You're all excited that you're going to spend Thanksgiving with your friends. And you always have these friends that have their first Thanksgiving at their first apartment, and so you're all happy about it until you get there and they have no idea what to do. <laughs> you're never so appreciative of your family when you have that first apartment Thanksgiving. There's no table, <laughs> no silverware. People are just piecing together things. You're sitting on a cooler with a, eating a turkey with a ladle. You're just <laughs> holding the plate in your lap, getting up every time someone needs a fresco or an orange crush. <laughs> Then you learn, yeah. Then you learn, then you go right back to your mom's or your grandmother's or your aunt's house. And they always, that's when it's fancy. They, they, they know, it's years of practice of it's a fancy day and they bring out the new hand towels in the bathroom that you're not supposed to use, by the way. <laughs> They're just for that day. And they're, they're basically, they're, they're so stiff, they're like 26 washings away from being absorbent. You, you know? It's mainly just embroidery on it. You just... And then when you go back home, no matter how old you, you are, you still end up sitting at the kids' table with, with the nieces and nephews, and it just doesn't feel good anymore at a certain age to be sitting there. The conversation isn't that stimulating. You're just, yeah, pee-pee-poo-poo, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't have a favorite Power Ranger. I have a PhD. <laughs> Love that you're back with us. And uh, where are you going to spend Thanksgiving? Out at my son's house. But you know what? I hadn't told you happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving is, is, to me, such a great holiday because it's not just a holiday. It, it is what it says, and it says what it is. Do you see what I'm saying? It, it's, uh, it's, it, well, it says it backwards, but it is, it, it's Thanksgiving, but it should be Giving Thanks Day, or Giving Thanks Yad, or Yad Giving Thanks. <laughs> anyway, it's a gratitude day, and so what says gratitude really better than eating ourselves into a vacant stare <laughs> and laying belly up in a lazy boy? Really, that's the way we give thanks. And, uh, and I wanna also, by the way, it's a good thing to, whenever, anybody you can think of it's the day to give thanks. And I personally would like to give thanks to whoever invented the elastic waistband. Uh, thank you. It is important to say thank you. And by the way, when someone passes the mashed potatoes at the table, don't just say thanks. That's like, you know, it took you all day to make the turkey, but thanks. I don't have time to say thank you, you know? Thanks is just too, unless you're saying thanks man, which is cool to say thanks man. And uh, even cooler than that is thanks man with a dap. You know that thing where you put your fist out and they, uh, unless it's your aunt or grandmother, then they think you're trying to slug them and they flinch and scream, but uh, that scares them. But what you could do if you're just unsure but you want to be cool is dap yourself and you can say, uh, you know, thanks man. <laughs> like that. Because that is universal from coming from the heart. Uh, even a non-dapper knows that. But uh, <laughs> unless you're doing it in the presence of a gorilla, and then get ready for a very informal wedding. <laughs> and, uh, and we're having Thanksgiving with some firefighters and some policemen and police people. <laughs> and some ICU nurses. And uh, because they work on Thanksgiving, so we thought we would thank them for all the wonderful work that they do. And uh, since they're working on that day, we wanted to give them this day. So thank you for that. I would like to propose a toast uh, to give thanks to, the, like I said, the wonderful people here that, that work so hard and for our wonderful food that we have on our table. Um, uh, because Thanksgiving really is, is about food, as you know. And uh, 
And it's, it's, you ever notice that most holidays are about food, you know? Because Halloween, you have candy, you know? And then, but nobody's gonna sit around a table and go pass the Butterfingers, you know? So <laughs> you don't really have a meal like this for Thanksgiving. And uh, Fourth of July, of course, you have a meal, but nobody ever is like this, you know? You have hamburgers or hot dogs or coleslaw or potato salad or something like that, usually a barbecue type situation. But, um, and then <laughs> Easter, you'll have a uh, ham or, or lamb, or, or if you had both, it would ham. <laughs> and, uh, or Arbor Day, of course, is uh, grilled cheese and uh, tomato is how I celebrate it. And, uh, but the, the best holiday for eating really is Thanksgiving. It really is, because you have all this food. You have everything right here, and it's all delicious. And the smell of Thanksgiving dinner is a, a delicious uh, uh, smell. And uh, people love the smell of cooking, don't they? If somebody was smart, they'd start making colognes out of the smell of cooking. And, you know, it's like a Calvin Klein's uh, stuffed or... Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing Ralph Lauren's white meat, you know? <laughs> Our Elizabeth Taylor's gravy. That would be <laughs> sexy, wouldn't it? And uh, I don't know why I have to think of everything, but I think that's a good idea to do that. But uh, anyway, here's to all the delicious food on the table. And uh, oh, I love food. I really do. I, I love to eat food, and I love to. I don't know how to cook. I, uh, well, I should say I, I've never tried, but I don't think I know how to cook. So, but I do love to eat food. And so here's to this food, and to family, and to friends, and uh, most of all, to dancing. <laughs> Even when it's not Thanksgiving, it's very Thanksgiving-ish around here all the time. I think I stepped in some cranberry sauce on my way here. <laughs> Hope that's what it was. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it, Thanksgiving tradition, uh, let, me, let me help you out. This is, uh, it started uh, really the year after the pilgrims arrived. For those of you homeschooling, get a pen pencil out. Um, <laughs> Some pilgrim, I believe, uh, named Francine, uh, said, oh, that was some, some good food last year. Um, <laughs> eh? And uh, so the... Uh, uh, and then another pilgrim, uh, Morris, said, uh, did anyone remember that recipe for stuffing? Because it was good. And then uh, another pilgrim said, I still can't fit into my pants from last year. <laughs> and they laughed, and, uh, and that's how the tradition started. And uh, this is a tradition for us now, because we were here last year, exactly one year ago, and uh, now we're here again. We're like the flu, we're seasonal. <laughs> and um, it's becoming a tradition, and uh, Thanksgiving alone is one, and then, of course, now we're adding the tradition of coming here, that's a double, which also is a tradition of mine. And... Uh, <laughs> that, I, that was kind of in the middle of a lot of things. I don't know what that was for the last joke or one coming up, but woo, ready. <laughs> And just like Thanksgiving at, uh, at my house, it always ends up uh, with someone yelling, get your coat, we're leaving. And uh, <laughs> I appreciate it so much for you being here. And uh, today, I hope I can help you out. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're watching. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And so uh, it, it, please, please learn from me. Uh, here's some tips. The problem is you're going to run into a whole lot of people. You're going to see family. Somebody's going to invite a friend. Somebody's going to invite somebody you met once, but you haven't seen them in years and years. And there's too many ways to greet someone. So you, you could get in a lot of trouble if you're not planning ahead. Try to make a list. Try to think of who's going to be there. And then, and then, because uh, there's the hug, and then there's the kiss, <laughs> and then there's the hug-kiss combo. And, <laughs> If that's not done right, that's a disaster right there. I don't know. Because sometimes I think that we're going to stop for the kiss. We go in together, and I think, oh, you're the hug kiss person, you know? Because <laughs> you know the specific, there's definitely the, just the kiss person. The hug kiss person, you think, oh, I'm going to stop for the kiss. But they don't. They continue on pulling you in. <laughs> and then you kiss their ear. <laughs> Or they do that to you if you actually just pull them in for the hug and then that, that loud, <laughs> right? <laughs> Why we have to end it with that noise? Because if we would just do the, oh, like that, <laughs> there would be no noise that it echoes in your ear. You've got a broken eardrum for the rest. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Sally, kiss my ear. Have you ever had that hug that lasts a little too long? You know, everybody knows that there's a normal, you know, like, like how about like this? You go, hey. Like that, right? That's kind of a normal. But then there's the person that, that is, and you, you try to let go, and then you feel bad, so you start to hug again. <laughs> you go for the re-hug, going, no, I was kidding. I wasn't going to let go. Now they're trying to let go, and then you have to let go, and it looks like you're the one that's hugging too long. <laughs> then there's the too short hug, where you just feel like somebody slighted you. They just go, hey, how you doing? And you're like, 
Like it's obligatory. Like you didn't have to hug me at all if you feel like that. <laughs> and you start taking it personal. Like what are, they don't like me anymore. What did I, Grandma, are you mad at me? <laughs>